Ever wondered how the toilet paper you use every day is made? Yes, that soft, essential commodity that we often take for granted. It's an interesting story that involves a journey from the forest to your bathroom. Toilet paper plays a pivotal role in our daily lives and its importance cannot be overstated. Let's put this into perspective. The average American goes through over a hundred single rolls of toilet paper each year. Multiply that by the millions of households across the country, and you will realize the enormity of its consumption. This contributes to a thriving global industry that rakes in a whopping $100 billion annually. From the harvesting of wood to the final packaging, the process of making toilet paper is a testament to human ingenuity and resourcefulness. So next time you reach for that roll, remember the intricate process behind it. Now let's delve into the fascinating journey of how a tree becomes the toilet paper in your bathroom. The journey of toilet paper starts in a forest. Imagine a serene forest, teeming with towering trees. Among these trees, a specialized machine named the Timber Harvester comes into play. This mechanical marvel is designed for one specific task, to collect wood efficiently and sustainably. The Timber Harvester works with precision and care, cutting down trees in a manner that minimizes damage to the surrounding environment. It's not just about cutting the trees though. The harvester also delimbs the trees, stripping away the branches to leave behind only the trunk. This efficient process ensures that the most substantial part of the tree, the trunk, is harvested. The timber harvester doesn't stop there. It also saws up the trunks, breaking them down into manageable sizes ready for the next stages of transformation. This harvesting process is crucial because it's the first step in making a product we all use daily. The harvested wood, especially the bad or crooked trunks, are the primary ingredient in making toilet paper. Once we have our wood, it's time to begin turning it into toilet paper. The wood harvested, particularly the trunks that are of less than ideal shape or quality, are first turned into pulp. This transformation is accomplished with the help of a wood chipper, a machine that grinds up the wood into small chips. These chips are then soaked and broken down further in large industrial tanks, known as decomposers. The decomposers use heat and chemicals to break the wood chips down into a mushy substance, the pulp. This pulp, a raw material that resembles a thick, soupy mixture, is the essential ingredient needed to create paper and by extension toilet paper. This process is crucial as it allows us to make use of wood that might otherwise be discarded, contributing to a more sustainable and efficient use of our natural resources. The pulp is now ready to be turned into paper. But not all toilet paper comes from trees. In fact, a significant portion of it originates from a source you might not expect. Recycled paper. Yes, that's right. Those old newspapers, magazines, and office printouts can get a second life as your bathroom's unsung hero. The journey of recycled paper begins with a sorting machine, a diligent worker that separates the usable recycled paper from junk. It sifts through heaps of paper waste, picking out the best bits for a new lease of life. After the sorting comes the washing process, a thorough cleanse that takes the recycled paper through 14 stations. At each point the paper is cleaned, scrubbed, and rinsed, shedding its old ink and impurities. Once the washing is complete the recycled paper is ready for its transformation. It will soon be turned into pulp, joining its forest-derived counterpart in the next stage of the process. Now we have two sources of pulp, from wood and from recycled paper. Now that we have our pulp, it's time to turn it into toilet paper. Our journey begins with a giant machine aptly named the paper machine. This mechanical marvel is responsible for transforming our pulp into solid paper. It does this through a meticulous four-step process. First up is forming. In this step, the pulp is spread out on a wire mesh belt, allowing the water to drain away and leaving behind a thin layer of intertwined fibers. Next we have pressing. The thin layer of fibers is passed between large rollers to squeeze out as much water as possible. This not only gives the paper its thickness but also helps to further bond the fibers together. The third step is drying. Here, the paper is passed over heated cylinders to evaporate the remaining water. This process turns the paper from a damp, fragile sheet into a strong, dry material. Lastly, we have creeping. This is where the magic happens. A metal blade scrapes the paper off the dryer disrupting the fiber-to-fiber -fiber bonding. This gives the paper its slightly wrinkled look, but more importantly it makes the paper flexible and soft. Without creeping, our toilet paper would feel more like regular office paper which is not something you'd want in your bathroom. Creeping is a crucial step in ensuring that the toilet paper is gentle on our skin. 
Now remember that we're not just making any paper here, we're making toilet paper. This means that after the creeping process, the paper is not yet finished, it still needs to be rolled onto large reels. A toilet paper roller machine working tirelessly around the clock can produce around half a million rolls a day. Different patterns are then printed onto the paper, and a process known as micro-embossing is applied. This gives the paper its characteristic dotted texture, which not only adds to the softness but also gives the paper more volume. Once creeped, the paper is ready to be turned into rolls of toilet paper. And just like that, we've transformed simple pulp into a household essential. From a large paper reel to the roll in your bathroom, the next step is packaging. Here's where the magic happens. Our soft and crept paper gets rolled onto incoming cardboard cores. Each cardboard core is destined to become the heart of a new roll of toilet paper. The machines involved in this process are set to precision, ensuring the paper is wound evenly and tightly, but we're not finished there. This large roll is then cut into smaller rolls, each one crafted to a specific size. From jumbo rolls for commercial use to the standard size for your home, each roll has its purpose, each one meeting different market requirements. It's fascinating, isn't it? The journey of a tree to your bathroom, all condensed into a roll of toilet paper, and with that we're one step closer to the finish line. Now our toilet paper rolls are ready to be used but not before they pass some important tests. Quality control is a crucial step in the toilet paper production process. This phase is where the checks and balances come into play. The paper is tested for various key attributes including stretch, opacity, moisture content, smoothness, and color. It's essential that the toilet paper has the right amount of stretch, is opaque enough for privacy, and has the right moisture content to ensure it's not too dry or too wet. The smoothness and color are also significant as they contribute to the overall user experience. But it's not just about the product's physical qualities. Paper companies also take on an environmental responsibility. They maintain their tree stands, ensuring a sustainable source of raw material. The chemicals used in the pulping process are carefully tested and monitored to minimize their impact on the environment. In essence, quality control ensures that the toilet paper you use is safe, soft and sustainable. So, there you have it. We've journeyed through the entire process of toilet paper production, from the forests where trees are harvested, to the final packaging of rolls, ready for your bathroom. It's a process that's both intricate and fascinating, involving a blend of nature's resources and human innovation. First we start with the collection of wood, using a specialized machine called a timber harvester. This machine efficiently cuts down trees, delimbs them, and saws up the trunks preparing the wood for the next stage of the process. Next, the harvested wood, especially the bad or crooked trunks, is turned into pulp. This raw material is the heart of paper and toilet paper production. It's created using a wood chipper and large industrial tanks called decomposers. But our story doesn't end with just wood. We also see the use of recycled paper. After being separated from junk by a sorting machine, this recycled paper undergoes a rigorous washing process with 14 stations, preparing it to be reused for new paper. Both the wood and recycled paper are then processed separately into pulp. This involves removing impurities, decomposing and cleaning, setting the stage for the actual papermaking process. This papermaking process is a marvel in its own right. A giant paper machine churns out solid paper from pulp in four steps, forming, pressing, drying, and creeping. The creeping process gives the paper its softness and slightly wrinkled look, a key characteristic of the toilet paper we know and use. After this, the completed paper is rolled onto large reels, and a toilet paper roller machine produces around 500,000 rolls a day. Then, we move on to packaging, where the paper is rolled onto incoming cardboard rolls and cut into smaller rolls of various sizes, based on market requirements. Quality control is vital throughout this process. Paper companies carefully test and monitor chemicals used in the pulping process and check completed paper for qualities like stretch, opacity, moisture content, smoothness, and color. Toilet paper is an essential hygiene commodity, a testament to human ingenuity, and a reminder of our reliance on nature's resources. Next time you reach for a roll of toilet paper, remember the journey it took to get to your bathroom.